All right, you made it back. I made it back. You made it back. I'm here. In a video we did a few weeks ago, Todd and I did a sample board for, is it a friend of yours? It's a, it's, it's a very close family friend. Okay. And their daughter's getting married and it's for her wedding. Okay, so we did a sample board to see if she liked what we did and we were gonna then transform that to the cornhole boards. So kind of tell me what happened. So I think she wanted something a little more simple. Okay. And we, we, we kind of did multiple options in the first video where we showed that, that, that we did different uh, melding and different right. applications with alcohol, different stuff. I think she's more less simple, simple okay. and wants more of a, a grainy kind of look. Okay. Maybe like a tree look. Okay. So we're going to kind of, we're after you and I have been talking, we're hopefully going to try to come up with something that'll be in between the both because I really thought what we did the first time. I really liked awesome. it too. I like it too. I like yeah. it too. So. I have a bone to pick with her. Yeah, we're going to talk to her about that later. All <laughs> right. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to use basically the same colors, but we're going to simplify it. She does want a striation, so we're going to do that. So we've taped. Everything's ready. We're going to go mix up the epoxy and we'll be right back. Okay. So we have everything mixed up. The colors we've mixed up is brown opaque dye and we added a lot of diamond dust. Then we used a uh, walnut or dark bronze and we used penny, copper penny and bronze. These are all mica powders except for this one is a brown dye. Okay, Todd. All right. We you want me to pour one and then you pour I'll the pour other one? one. Yep. I think okay. that's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Are you scared? No, I'm not. Scared. Okay, okay. That's the best teacher out there. <laughs> That's it, okay. All right, so we're gonna do first, she wants it in striations, but she doesn't want it super busy. Right. All right, so we're not gonna do teeny, teeny tiny little lines. We're gonna do mm, mediocre little lines. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use about half of this. Okay. And we're just gonna lay it down. No perfect pattern. We just wanna kinda keep it in a striated type of a pattern. Let me see, where we at on? Uh, more. One more little line here. All right, your turn. All right. <laughs> Not like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't make me jump. <laughs> You're supposed to freak out. I am. Todd. Well, some of the people in our classes lose their you mind. Remember, I have five children. I'm not used to freaking out. That's easy to. You can just when you get up here, just drop the cup. Drop it, yeah. All right. Now we're going to come in with our dark bronze or walnut. We call it same thing. I think that's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Those two colors together are really pretty. Kind of nice. I love all the colors actually. It's a real good neutral palette. There you go. All right. Ooh. <laughs> and it doesn't have to be perfect. The good thing about this is we can kind of pick up the colors as we need to and move them around. There you go. And by dropping that on the table, we're going to make sure we get all that material okay. out and so we're not wasting anything. All right, copper penny. Here we go. And it's okay if they overlap and touch. We just don't, we don't want to pour directly on top. And you don't, and what's kind of cool is you don't have to do a, a line all the way down like that. Yep. Good. Perfect. All right, now the bronze. And so I'm going to do kind of what I just told you. I'm going to start on this side. Oh, I like these colors. I like these colors. These too. are pretty. I love that diamond dust in that brown. Is pretty. Okay, so we have everything kind of striated like we want it. Uh, now what we're going to do, we're going to torch a little bit. And the reason we're torching, we want to heat up the epoxy just a tiny bit to get it a little more fluid then you're gonna lift and that's gonna cause our product to run down to ensure that all of our edges have plenty of material. Okay. okay? All right, here we go. All right, so why don't you lift up? Okay, very slowly. There you go, a little bit little higher. So when you let your epoxy run, you don't wanna let it run super fast because what'll happen is you'll get these little fingers um, so we want to let it move very slowly and then if you're working in a, a, a cooler environment you can heat up just certain areas and have those run a little faster than the other ones. Alright so then once we get plenty of material here then I'm going to lift and we're going to go that way. There it goes. Yeah. Start to move now. Yeah. 
and I'll just see where this color is separated yeah. from the edge. All I'm going to do is just bring some of it. Yeah, back. I'll bring some of that back. There we go. Now that is gorgeous. Sucks Let's do yours. <laughs> yeah. So why don't you go ahead and torch the whole thing? So what? Let me show you what. When you torch, so that you get an even torch, pretend you're mowing the grass. You're just going to go back okay. and forth. Yep. There you go. Okie doke, let's go. Why don't you tilt this way first? Tilt that way? Yeah. You've got your edges pretty good. So, a little higher. There we go. And like I said, if you have surface tension, you can tap. It'll help get it. Mm -hmm. help and it'll it help. Roll. And then if it's not going fast enough, I'm just going to heat up this right around here. Okay. And let's go this way a little bit. All right, so looking at their pattern, there's some big areas of solid color. So I wanna break up that color. So in this case, on my board, I have a little more copper. Todd has a little bit more bronze. So what I'm gonna do is take the bronze and I'm gonna add just a little bit of that into my copper. And then I'm just gonna kinda of take my stick or my bondo spreader, whatever you wanna take. In fact, I'm gonna go get my bondo spreader. I like that look it gives me a little bit better and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm just going to drag it and twist just a little bit I'm not going to twist a whole lot because I don't have a lot of color to work with there you go I'm making more of a mess <laughs> no you're good you can't mess this you can't up. Mess it up you right? cannot mess it up <laughs> all right very cool all right so what we're going to do I give you a quick lesson about what's happening right now, okay? okay? Because we are using mica powders and not a dye or a paste. The only thing that's a dye in here is our brown. Our mica powders are sinking, all right? Because mica powders are actually a particle. Okay. So they are sinking because our epoxy is fluid, okay? Okay. So what's gonna happen is it it's gonna get very soft and smooth looking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for a while, we're gonna let the epoxy start to thicken up, and then we're gonna come back and we're gonna re-drag, and we're gonna wake all those mica powders back up, and because now the epoxy's thick, what's gonna happen is those mica particles are gonna stay suspended, and you're gonna get a little bit more of a dynamic design. Make sense? Makes sense. All right, so let's take a break. Okay, let's take a break. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Right. Okay, we're back. We're back. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of wake everything back up and you're really gonna see this design pop. All right, here we go. Same, same technique. We're gonna take the Bondo spreader and we're just gonna start sliding it. And you don't wanna drag it all really hard on your substrate because you're really not trying to move a whole lot of, of the product. You're just kind of waking up the epoxy. Now see how now that we're kind of waking, where we're dragging it, it's, it's sort of changing. And then where we don't touch, it still has that softness about it. See that? Yeah. And depending on how you want it to look and how much you want to actually have that new look as opposed to that real soft look is just going to be determined on how wide you go between each drag. So I kind of like leaving it to where some of it still has that softening effect and some of it has the new look where we drag and kind of wake up the product. So now we don't want to add heat because if we add heat, we're going backwards. If we add heat, we're causing the epoxy to become fluid again. And then what's going to happen is the mica powders are just going to settle back down again. So by using the Relax Spray, any bubbles that we create while we're doing this, the Relax Spray is just going to take those bubbles out 
without heating up the resin. So when you pull the tape, you want to pull it down so that you help that epoxy start to run as opposed to pulling it straight out. When you're doing your edges, make sure that you take your finger and you push that epoxy down so that you don't let that cure with that surface tension. All right guys, just to let you know, the next step on these cornhole boards, which we're not gonna video, is Todd's going to take them home, he'll sand them, he'll apply a logo, and then he's gonna apply his flood coat, build the frames, put them all together. So what we are gonna do is we are going to post the final pieces at the wedding when they're being used in our insiders group. So go to Facebook, join the RK3 Design Epoxy Insiders to be able to see the finished results. And if you would like to know how to apply a logo correctly, check out the video linked in the description of this video. What do you think? I think that you're a great teacher. Oh, well, thank you. But what do you think about these? You did just as good as I did. I, I think they came out awesome. Yeah. I, I think they look amazing. I think they melded good. Uh, I love the fusion with the bubbles. Uh, I think they look amazing. Good. Yes. All right. Looking for the finished product. It'll be awesome. Well, guys, you can see here we we both did a little bit different technique. I mean, we did the same technique, but we did it a little differently. Yeah. Um, and they came out as a matching pair and they're absolutely gorgeous. We used four colors and got this look. I absolutely think they turned out amazing. Um, so let me know what you think, guys. Do you like this simple, super easy technique to do? Let me know in the comments below what colors would you have done. All right, Todd. So. I guess until your next project. I'll be back next week. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys, all of the products here can be found on our website, rk3designs.com, where we do free shipping on all orders over $100. Check out all the videos that we have on YouTube. We even have a special series in how to build from start to finish a set of cornhole boards for you. All right, guys, until next time, remember, don't be scared. What else? Move forward. And be creative. And be creative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you later. Bye.